Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Love Above All with Brandis. This is episode number 10 entitled Enjoy the Journey. And remember with every video, my intention and mission is to help you love yourself, know yourself, and share yourself with others in your authentic way for God's purpose, whatever it may be, whatever it is that you feel is planted um, in your heart. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about enjoying the journey, but those of you that are new, uh, go ahead and take a look at the links below if you want to go ahead and see previous videos. And those of you that are um, watching again, I, I always hope that I can just share even a little uh, small nugget of information or insight or inspiration in order to um, just help you through through your journey. Um, it I have some time here. My daughter's sleeping, so I'm going to go ahead and try to give you a, a quick spiel of enjoying the journey. I believe that there's two types of journeys that um, that we have. We have our real long journey from the time we're born until the time that we die, and then we have these short little mini journeys that happen um, throughout life. And those are journeys where um, maybe you see a vision or a goal or you've had some type of transition and you are in the waiting stages. So how are you able to enjoy where it is that you are at right now? I have five um, ways and, and things that, that I do um, that I know that I need to do in order to stay centered and, and stay connected to God and, and in order to stay on God's side and not go to the other side while I am in any type of interim or waiting period. Now, right now, I'm a mom, and I it's such a blessing and such a joy to, to be able to um, be with my daughter. I do have things in the future that um, and aspirations and things that I want to go ahead and do, so I'm always having to keep myself at a steady level pace, um, really being appreciative for where I am, knowing that I'm also going to be going somewhere later on. So... I want to share these five things with you, and uh, hopefully they can be of some help to you as well. So let's begin. I wrote them down just so I don't forget here. So the first one, and I don't mean to be morbid in any way, but this is something that wakes me up and, and helps me uh, focus if ever I'm not enjoying the journey or um, thinking that life is too hard, and that is simply that I remind myself that I'm going to die one day, that everything is so precious, and that those around me could die one day. So I need to make sure that I'm cherishing all those in my life. I'm cherishing all the experiences and events that are able to take place in my life. Um, I remind myself of that often, so I am um, always grateful for, for everything that is around me. So that is number one. Go ahead and wake yourself up by reminding yourself that you will not be here one day. But don't sulk in it and get too upset. Just remind yourself of it very nicely. Number two is waking up every morning. Um, realizing that every single day is a gift from God and that every single day is an adventure to wake up with that mentality, to be thankful for um, what God's going to give you that day. Instead of waking up and feeling negative and scared about maybe what life will face you that face or give to you that day, wake up just being expecting of, of greatness and good and, and adventure and a lot of um, things for you to participate in that are fun and to kind of look at the day um, through the eyes of a child, thinking that every day is an adventure. Number three would be to let love throw, flow through you um, with everything that you do that day, that week, that month, whatever it is, whatever that interim time is, to not wear your mask again, to not put that on, but to constantly stay connected to that love space inside of you and to let love flow through you to others and to also let love fl flow through you to you. So if you're getting down on yourself about something or if you're in this waiting period and you're, you're losing patience with yourself or you're not feeling that you're good enough, go ahead and make sure that that love flows directly to you as well and stay connected to that in order to make this journey um, very joyous and in order to just keep yourself at a high level, uh, a very happy thinking level as well. We are on... Okay, sorry, my camera just decided to um, stop. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue with number four. Number four is to just, um, in addition to thinking that, you know, every day is an adventure, like number two, um, it's really important to just let yourself experience the joy that this life brings and, and how God created the earth with just so many wonderful, wonderful things. There's so many places to see. There's so many... Um, people to meet. There's so many um, just 
there's wonderful food to eat, there's wonderful places to go, there's wonderful people to meet. Um, don't hesitate, don't let yourself think that you know you can't do these things or seclude yourself to one area. Go ahead and just try to really enjoy um, this life and just all the beauty that God has for you to go ahead and enjoy and just to really take an active role in doing so and just always having something to look forward to and challenge yourself. If you know you right away say, no, I could never do that or I would never do that, just go ahead and challenge yourself to go ahead and do it and experience it. And just for the mere experience, take part in, in all the joy that, that lies here for you on this earth because I believe that we are here um, to love and to serve, but to also just enjoy this magnificent, magnificent world that God has created. And finally, number five is to be kind to yourself. Whenever I'm waiting along the journey, um, I, I need to, to make sure to be kind to myself because there's a lot of different things that are going to happen. There's going to be learning curves and a lot of things that you're going to be doing in life, whether it's the littlest thing, like lately with me, just trying to learn how to garden or take care of a yard. These are things that are new to me, and I need to be kind to myself in order to um, you know, achieve whatever mini goal it is that I have. Um, if you're not being kind to yourself along the way, you're going to have a really hard time completing those tasks. So be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Um, give yourself the grace that God has already given to you and um, you will see just wonderful things happen and you'll be able to join, enjoy the journey that much more. So thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope that these ideas um, can help you along the way if maybe you're in an interim period and you're waiting or maybe you're just going through life and you're, you're trying to um, just even figure out what it is that you want and you want to go ahead and enjoy it in the meantime. So take care. God bless you. And um, I hope that you can take some of this. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. It is night by me and sleep well and God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.